human beings, very special and very precious for sure. All of us, every single one of us. I, I think I also never really understood what that meant. Like, you know, when people told me before that I was special, I thought, you know, it's because I'm good at that or maybe because, you know, like I have this quality or like I didn't really understand what that means. But uh, when I came to this training, I really understood why every single human being is so special and so precious because <laughs> we have the... We human beings hold the intelligence of the universe in a usable way. And we have the capacity and the ability to bring about such immense benefit to the world with all of our unique strengths, gifts and talents. And every single person has very unique strengths, gifts and talents that they can live their life where they constantly use these strengths, gifts and talents to bring about benefit to themselves and to the world. And um, so that's why it's so beautiful to be given the introduction to what is open intelligence. Because when we understand and live as open intelligence, then we really get to realize this special quality that we all have. Otherwise, it just remains dormant and we don't really get to experience like how completely unique and special and powerful we are. So recognizing open intelligence shows us the full potential of, of who we are. It allows us to constantly be in this world and just and live our potential in every single moment and always expanding, always getting greater and greater and greater. It's like we break through the glass ceiling. Everything that has ever limited us to be amazing, with the recognition of open intelligence, it's just like no glass ceiling anymore. Constant expansion, just like a rocket ship going up and up and up and up. So you want to know what open intelligence is, right? <laughs> because it's so simple and so easy to just to just recognize this in your day-to-day -day life. We're so lucky. Balanced View has actually has this really, really incredible, potent way that every single person who comes here can can recognize open intelligence and live as that in their lives. So stop thinking just for a moment. And what remains? This is it. This is open intelligence. This power, this clarity, this peace, this knowing, the power to know. This is open intelligence. And this is what, this, this power to know, this is how you can live your life. This is the vantage that you can live your life from. This is how you smash through the glass ceiling again and again and again through constantly coming back to open intelligence. Now stopping thinking it was just an introduction. You don't need to stop thinking to recognize open intelligence. Open intelligence is there even whilst you're thinking. Even whilst the stories are going on, open intelligence is there. Stories, thoughts, emotions, sensations, we just call this data, or data, data streams. And, um, and it doesn't really matter what they're saying. It doesn't really matter how negative they are, how positive they are. It's actually completely irrelevant. We just allow all of our data streams to be exactly as they are. All of our stories can just be exactly as they are. And we tap into this powerful open intelligence. We allow everything just to be as it is. We don't need to meddle with it anymore. We don't need to get involved in it. We don't need to understand why it's there. We don't need to work out 
how we can get rid of it, how we can get more of the positive, get rid of the negative. We just let all of our data streams be exactly as they are. And then we see that everything resolves like a line drawn in water. Nothing leaves a trace. No story leaves a trace. No negative data stream leaves a trace. Boredom doesn't leave a trace. I complete like this question with boredom. It's just, it's the best because I see how my whole entire life I, um, I lived trying to escape boredom. Like boredom is just the worst thing possible that could happen to me. And if I experienced boredom, then that meant that there was something wrong with what I was doing and something needed to change because I gave boredom meaning. I gave boredom and all of my other data streams meaning. I thought that they had an independent nature. I didn't realize that it was inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky, completely inseparable, like all data streams. I didn't know that. I thought boredom was something that I needed to get rid of. So every single time boredom came up, I used, you know, any of my strategies to get rid of it. Like if I was in a relationship and boredom came up, it meant time to get a new boyfriend. And, you know, 10 boyfriends later, boredom kept on coming up. <laughs> so it, it was like, I could sort of see like as I was getting older that, hmm, maybe, maybe it's not him. <laughs> But I didn't know what was the solution. You know, like if I was in a job, boredom came up, time to get a new job. And for sure, like every single job that I ever, ever done in my life, every single university course that I've studied and I've done a lot of different, have had a lot of different career changes because I was trying to escape boredom. Every time boredom came up, time for a new career, time for a new job, time for a new group of friends time to live in a new country. So it's like you can just see how it just, it completely, it can control our whole entire life. Just running away from our data streams, like constantly on the run, so scared to actually just feel them fully. So it's, it's, it's in, it was incredible for me to, to meet to meet this training and to, and to see in my own experience, not because somebody else told me, but to test it out in my own experience and to see that I don't actually have to run away from any of my data streams anymore. I don't have to run away from, from boredom anymore. I can actually just allow it to be exactly as it is. And, uh, and I can do that with every single data stream. And so the way, the way that um, one of the tools that I was taught in how can I let these data streams be as they are, like how can I possibly do that? Like, you know, when anger or something or anxiety or something comes up, like I want to get rid of it. I want it to go away. So how can I possibly let that be as it is? So one of the tools that's available here is... In, uh, in balanced view is that you can take a short moment of open intelligence. Just a short moment. Not a long moment, just a short moment when your most afflictive, afflictive data stream arises. And probably for everybody it would be completely different. Jealousy, hatred, anger, arrogance, pride, everyone completely different. When, that, when it's that that arises, that's where you just take a short moment and you see that you don't need to run away from it anymore. Fear, fear of, um, fear, <laughs> fear, just fear of the future, fear of having no money, fear of things not going your way. Like these are incredible data streams that I also used to just be so scared of experiencing all this fear, and then just constantly, every time it would come up, I need to change my situation. 
or I act out on it. I get angry when something doesn't go my way and I blame the person who just happens to be standing there. It's your fault that the tables were set up in this way that the drinks spilt. Because <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to feel that, that anger and that hatred that arose from that situation. But here it's just one short moment when you experience your most afflictive data stream. One short moment to see that you don't need to run away from it, that you can let it be exactly as it is. And whatever it is that you're experiencing, whatever is that most afflictive data stream, the fear, the boredom, is self-releases completely like a snake unties itself in a knot, resolves on its own, and you have complete freedom from boredom or whatever it is you're experiencing, complete freedom from all of your thoughts, emotions, sensations, freedom from your data streams. This is amazing. You know, this is, this is what true freedom really is. Like this is, this is, I know this is what I wanted my whole entire life, to just be free from the distraction of my constantly <clears throat> murmuring of my mind, like constantly, like, you know, and, ma and mainly negative, being in groups of people and all of a sudden feeling like I have nothing to contribute, nothing to say. And then the thoughts start, you're not cool enough, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, and then just like, not being able to communicate. <clears throat> and here, in this situation, I have the tool to take a short moment, short moment of open intelligence. I can take it again and again and again, and I see that I am completely unaffected by whatever it is that my data stream is saying. It's like, it can even become enjoyable. It just doesn't matter anymore. And so we have this incredible support system in Balanced View that um, is available for you in order to help you to recognise open intelligence in your life. So short moments is one of them. We call it the four mainstays. And um, the trainings, the, the media, the website, we have an incredible website that if you're just at home, you can just log on to the website. You can just go on to the website. There's hundreds and hundreds of talks that you can just listen to. Like right now, this is being filmed and it will be on the website. And you can just listen to hundreds and hundreds of talks like that just help you to recognize open intelligence. Just so relaxing to just go there. Sometimes you just see the website and you can just relax. And we have incredible introductory trainings and trainings, one day, one day training this Saturday where you get the opportunity to ask questions to a trainer, a trainer, another, another mainstay, somebody who's gone before you, somebody who's clarified all of these data streams that you're having and can support you to see them also as open intelligence. It's like if you're going to climb Mount Everest and um, you would obviously, which is a very dangerous mountain to climb if you try and do it on your own and you'd probably die if you did it on your own. But if you went with a guide, a mountain guide, somebody who's done it before, who knows the route, who's done it again and again and again and again and had only successful climbs, so then you would say, you would go and speak to the guide and say, how do I do this? Can you support me? What do I need to take with me? Do I need to bring oxygen? You know, then the guide will give you all these really helpful tips on how you can climb the mountain so that you reach the top and then you come back down alive. That's sort of like how I feel with my trainer. You know, she gives me all these incredible helpful tips on how I can survive life. <laughs> like, so that I fully live life. I live life alive. I don't live life dead. You know, just completely neutralized and at the whim of all of my data streams just constantly trying to avoid indulge replace just get through just like head above the water my my trainer supports me to just like fully live 
completely undistracted by my data streams, show, supports me to use my strengths, gifts and talents to be of great benefit to all. Now th this is fully living. You know, this, this, is, this is why human beings are, are here, to use their strengths, gifts and talents to be of benefit. And then we have the community. It's just everybody here, people who are just reflecting open intelligence and just being together. We just remind each other to rely on open intelligence. And it's just like, you know, if we're at home or something and we're living with people who don't rely on open intelligence, so that's our community of support. You know, people who don't rely on open intelligence and who believe that thoughts, emotions and sensations have an independent nature. And so that's what we do too because that's what all the people around us are doing. So when we meet community from Balanced View where we see that there are so many people who are relying on open intelligence and who understand that thoughts, emotions, sensations do not have an independent nature, so that's contagious. And we gain fluency in this new language of living as open intelligence. So this is the four mainstays and this is available to everybody who, who chooses to use them. And uh, it's really an effortless practice. Like it's, it's really effortless. Like you just have to use the four mainstays and you can do it in a really lazy way. And you start to see and recognize the results of this training. So even if you just for the next you know, few days or for the rest of the week, just come back to the, this open meeting. You see the whole four mainstays are available here. You've got the training media, us talking. You've got the opportunity to speak to a trainer. You've got the community. You can take short moments. And all of these are just taking short moments with you while you're, for you while you're just sitting here. You get to see the four mainstays in actions. And all you're doing is walking from your house and sitting here. It's, it's really easy, like you don't even, <laughs> you don't need to try to stop to, you know, to breathe in a special way or you don't need to, you know, do any particular type of headstands or, or anything that you may have learnt before that shows you open intelligence. Open intelligence is available to everybody at all times and it's just, the four mainstays just support you to realise that in your own experience.